multiplication means if you have three times one quarter, that means you have three lots of one quarter pieces. So, three lots of one quarter, one lot of one quarter, two, three lots of one quarter pieces. Answer seems like three quarters. So let's see what four lots of one third, what does it look like? Okay. One lot of one third, two thirds, three thirds, and four thirds which is exactly the same as one whole cake and one third. Let's do seven lots of one eight. So, one eighth, I need seven lots of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can see the answer is seven eighths. Can you see the pattern? Let's pause the video. Let's write the pattern you can see, think of, or you can say it, or you can just think about it. What is the pattern here? So we talked, we talked about this before. If you have uh, three lots of quarters, like a three quarters, three lots of apples like three apples that's it's like a language people say math is just a language so three lots of one quarter and three quarters four lots of thirds are four thirds and seven times eight is seven eighths well it seems like we can do multiplication what about the other way around can i do Half times three. It doesn't make sense, does it? Because multiplication is like three lots of something, the four lots of something. Half lot of. Hmm. Let's pause the video. What does this mean? Let's pause the video. So people say maths is like a language. So we sometimes say of to explain multiplication. For example, I, I, if I want two bags of lollies or two bags of candies, if you're in the USA, we say, may I have two of those, two of those. And of usually is multiplication. Can you see that? So this is one half of three. Half of three, I can do that. So one half of three, I have, let's say this cake is three kilograms. Ooh. I'm going to have half of it. Half of that is one and a half, or people say 1.5 kilograms. Or, Three chocolate bars and remember one half of it. That means I'll be one half, two halves, three halves. I've seen this pattern here. Denominator stays multiplied. Let's try one quarter of 10. Mm. So I have 10 I have 10 chocolate bars and I need a quarter of it. So I'm going to cut the whole thing into quarters. 
and take these quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten quarters. Oops. Ten quarters. I can still do that. Now, if you know what's happening here, one, two, three, four little quarters will make the whole chocolate bar. One, two, three, four will make the whole chocolate bar. Two lots of those will make one half chocolate bar. I have two whole chocolate bars and a half. We can do that as well. But the point is, you can multiply fractions with a whole number. Now, this, now this is the issue. This is the biggest problem. One half times one third. Now remember, this is like a language. This is of, we're talking about one half of one third. So one half of one third. So let's find out what one third is. That's one third. I need half of it. This is one third and I need half of it. I only need this part here. This is one half of one third. And the answer is one sixth. One half times one third is one sixth. That makes sense. If I look at the picture. How about one quarter times one third? One quarter times one third. I need one quarter of a third. A third. I need one quarter of it. So I'm going to cut this into four equal pieces. I may as well go through so you can see what I've got. One quarter of one third. One quarter of one third is only this much. I have one quarter of one third. That is one twelfth. One twelfth. Can you see a pattern? Let's pause the video. Can you see a pattern here? Well, let's find another. This is one quarter of one half. One quarter of one half. One quarter. That's one quarter. I need one half of it. Half of that is this. It looks like that's one eighth. You may have found you may have found a pattern. Four twos will make eight. Two threes is six. Four threes is twelve. You can see that's three, then a four this way, four rows of threes, or four columns of threes. I can see two rows and four columns, which are like eights. Hmm. So what's the pattern? How can I multiply fractions? Can you see a conjecture? Can you write a conjecture? What is the rule of multiplying fractions? Let's pause. So we talked about, it seems like it's two times three is six, four times three is 12, two times four is eight. And it's the top stays. Now, let's see what happens if we say half of two thirds. What would be the answer? Do you think you can draw do you think you can draw a picture? Do you think you can draw a picture to find the answer? Or if you write a conjecture, can you see what the answer is? Hmm. 
Let's pause the video. Okay, let's draw. Two thirds are here. I need one half of that. So one half of one third, sorry, one half of two thirds. I need one half of it. This is what I'm taking. These two pieces are what I'm taking. Seems like the answer is two six. Yes, we multiply these. What happens to the top? What is happening here? Let's change the question. We may be able to find what's happening. So let's change this to again two thirds. Maybe I'll change it to two fifths. Two fifths. So this is two thirds of this. So I have to find what this is first. Okay, it's nice. Rectangular cake. I've cut this into five equal pieces. Well, sort of equal. Two of those. This is two fifths. That's done. I need two thirds of that. So I cut the the two thirds. I cut the piece. What well, I cut this into three equal pieces. I take two of those. I cut this three equal pieces, and I take two of those. Now I'll find out what the pieces are. I need two fifths. That much. I cut this much into three equal pieces. And I take two of those, two rows. I cut this piece into three equal pieces, take two. So it seems like what I get is, when I know this is 15, because five, five, five is 15, three times five is 15. Then I took four. Am I adding? Am I adding here? No, I'm not adding here. Let's pause the video. What's your opinion? Let's write it. Let's say it. Or let's think about it. Let's pause the video. So I think this two was confusing me because if I, two plus two is four, but two times two is also four. So I'm going to change this to three then find out what this is going to be. Let's see if your conjecture was right. I need to find three fifths. So I'm getting better at cutting things into five equal pieces. Three fifths is this much, right? And I need two thirds of those. I need two thirds of this new piece, new chunk. I'm going to cut this into three equal pieces. I've got one, two, three equal pieces. I need two lots of those. I need this much. Now, I have 15 little pieces. Same as the last time. Now I'm taking six. Two plus three is not six, but two times three is six. So let's write the conjecture how we can multiply fractions. Let's pause the video. So do you remember the conjecture? is a rule, mathematical rule, that you come up with, it's like a guess, but you come up with a new rule of mathematics. So, 
you cannot just say multiply the bottom, multiply the top. You know the language, so denominators, numerators. So your conjecture possibly is when you multiply two fractions, you multiply the denominators, then you multiply the numerators. Or you might have said if two fractions are multiplied, two denominators, two denominators are multiplied to find the denominator of the question or the answer, two numerators multiplied to get the answer of the numerator. So With the conjecture, the answer of one third times two sevenths should be multiply multiply these two numbers denominators to get the new denominator. One times two. This is the new. This is the answer of one third times two sevenths. View some questions. three questions. Let's pause the video. Hope you know what it means to multiply two fractions. Now I gave you three answers, but I know these two answers can be simplified. You can find equivalent fractions. 2 20ths, 6 24ths. Let's pause the video. Can you find equivalent fraction of these? We simplified. That means numbers are going to be smaller. Let's pause the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon.